The East London district of Bethnal Green and Bow, home to the largest concentration of Bangladeshis outside Bangladesh. They make up a third of the 100,000 population. Now, for the first time here, all the candidates for Britain's major political parties are British Bangladeshis. They're Muslims, they're local, and their parents even hail from the same region of Bangladesh, Silet. The area was the stronghold for the ruling Labour Party, but in 2005, Respects George Galloway changed that by taking the seat by just 800 votes from the pro-war MP Una King. Mr Blair, this is for Iraq. Labour hopeful Roshanara Ali was King's personal assistant at the time, but despite that close connection, she's distanced herself from the Iraq war. I was opposed to the war, like many loyal Labour supporters, over a hundred Labour MPs voted against the war, I marched against the war, uh, uh, and uh, I, I think that it was a mistake. Galloway's successor Abdul Mir's task, meanwhile, is to convince voters that his is not a single-issue party. We demand that there should be an ethical foreign policy, not a foreign policy that invades other people's countries, and we are spending £5 billion which could be spent on hospitals, on schools, on healthcare, and other services that are vital for us in the UK. This social housing complex is typical for this part of London, which is considered to be one of the most deprived areas in the country. It's the kind of place where all four candidates were brought up, and although they now have very different political ideologies, what they do share is a common belief in the British electoral system and the desire to put something back into this community. Conservative candidate Zakir Khan is hopeful of his chances, despite the fact that his party's never done well in the area. It's not just Bangladeshis, I think Asians naturally are conservatives because we believe in the core values of the Conservative Party. One is family, that we believe in strong family ties that we believe in as Asians. Two, we believe in supporting local businesses and being entrepreneurs. And three, naturally we want to be successful in life. But there's mixed feelings about an all-Bangladeshi candidate list. I don't think that's particularly representative. Um, I mean, obviously there is a quite a lot of... Um, Asian people around here, but there's also not so, and also they might have uh, quite similar views. The fact that it's it's all Bangladeshis, that's it's not a bad thing. I wouldn't base my vote on on their ethnicity, you know. Bangladeshis in Britain have always engaged in local politics, but Liberal Democrat candidate Ajmal Masroor sees no reason why they can't set their sights even higher. If black people in their fight to liberation, emancipation, and freedom have overcome prejudice and hundreds of, year, hundreds of years of slavery, and have now got a black president. If that's possible, tell me what's not possible in the world. Their fathers came to Britain as manual workers. Now, one of them is about to make history and become Britain's first ever British Bangladeshi Member of Parliament. Shamim Chowdhury, Al Jazeera, London. On May the 6th is the date, UK general election, and apart from those featured in that report, Take a look at this list. It completes the other candidates who are running in Bethnal Green and Bow. We'll be keeping an eye on all the main contests ahead of Election Day once again. That's May the 6th.